Hey, what's up you beautiful feckers? How you all doing? So, about a week ago I made a video going over combos in Warframe that are incredibly useful. Fun, but also powerful. The combination of two weapons that complement each other really well, or a weapon and a Warframe, or a weapon and a particular Sentinel. And one combo that got mentioned is the Gazelle Machete and of course the Gin Sentinel. And this also got mentioned to me by DK Diamantes on Quiet Shy's art stream a few Saturdays ago about how damn good it was. And I will hold my hands up here, I forgot this was even a thing. I've played this game for so long and seen so many different things added and of course changed in the game that at times I forget that something is a thing. This is a thing. A thing. A thing, hold on, I can get this right. A thing, a thing, there you go. So how do these two items combine, or why are they so good together? Apart from the fact that the Gazelle Machete is a slash, a heavy slash based melee weapon, 75% of its damage is slash damage. For every kill that you get with the Gazelle Machete, it will add 50 bonus corrosive damage to your Jin's next fatal attraction. And this stacks up to 10 times, so 10 kills, and you will deal 500 bonus corrosive damage on that next fatal attraction blast which is great and each fatal attraction cast by your gin in return will give your machete a 25 percent corrosive bonus damage for 30 seconds on your melee weapon so it's a constant back and forth of buffing each other fatal attraction buffs your machete and your machete kills buff your fatal attraction and one of the good things about fatal attraction is that it also forces enemies close enough to you to walk slowly towards you Put their weapons down and basically slowly walk towards their death which when you think about it is just plain fucking evil your gin is a little sadistic shit and of course because the gazelle machete is a status based weapon you're going to be running condition overload what else because every great weapon in the game right now seems to have to have condition overload equipped and also when you equip the cyclone kraken stance for machetes and its slams and of course its forced bleeds this setup really comes to life now i understand that this this stance can be a pain in the ass to find or even transmute RNG in Warframe be absolutely damned but hopefully you'll get it sometime or you can buy it I guess. Now the only real issue I have with this whole combination of the machete and the sentinel is that the gin has a tendency to get blown up. Blink and the little shit is a pile of nuts and bolts beside you or you've ran away and left without even realising that he got blown up. One bombard rocket at higher levels or a napalm shot because napalm shots are absolutely ridiculous with the range that they have and it can wipe your gin out, thus removing the combo unless you're using, I guess, regen or a primed regen to revive the little shit. So I brought this setup all the way through yesterday's sorties, just my Oberon, my gin, and of course the Gazelle Machete as well, to see just how effective it was. And there was one sortie that gave enemies bonus armor, but it didn't really give me any issues whatsoever. It was like a hot knife through bottle. It killed absolutely everything. Now, the build I used was a high status build with condition overload, like I said, and of course, drifting contact as well but you could stick in weeping wounds in place of one of those dual elemental mods or relentless combination if you wanted to get your combo multiplier up even faster whatever you want to equip it is entirely up to you but the funny thing is i also tested this in the simulacrum with blood rush equipped instead of condition overload and it still killed pretty damn fast obviously not as effective or as fast as it was with condition overload equipped but still fast enough to deal with anything sortie level so if you don't have condition overload and you have blood rush you could supplement that in instead of course you could also use some of the gladiator mods if you're running with blood rush in order to try and get that crit chance up even faster now the gazelle machete also has got an incredible riven disposition so if you're lucky enough to get your hands on a riven for this weapon you're going to throw out a serious amount of damage so that's basically the gazelle machete and the gin sentinel one of our games I guess best kept secrets. You could boost your damage even more with certain Warframes that give you additional status effects so that condition overload hits even harder. Let me know in the comment section below if you run with this combo and what you think of it and what other combos you believe are really worth checking out for veterans and of course new players alike. Do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks very much for watching.